generally I'm like, if there's anything that I could possibly like buy or spend money on that would make the book better, I'll do it. A friend of mine, uh, has this, she said something that I, I love, that like writing is the place where you put all your reading. The first part of how I at least write a book is, is reading. You know, I read really weird stuff and I think it's important to not have like a programmatic reading uh, life. You're just gathering, you know, like you're just out collecting everything that you can and just amassing like as much as possible. And when I'm reading anything, I'm reading it kind of through the lens of my characters and, and what, you know, how they would respond to particular things or what they would be interested in. Um, and also thinking of how this would like slot in with this new story that, that is emerging. I don't know where, like, just some germ like this like whatever it is some core seed emerges for whatever the book is going to be um it was a quotation for the the first book for the, the book i'm working on now it was this really specific vivid weird way of viewing time and then it gradually kind of trickles for me usually into poetry so i'll start writing kind of like poems about the same things and then, you know, something will pick up and, and kind of take off. It makes no sense to be precious about this process. Like, a lot of it is writing on receipts or whatever, or just any place you can get something down. It doesn't really matter. Just sit down and do something, you know, just like, just be working. Once I'm kind of running a little bit with, with what it is that, that I'm writing, I'll just sketch usually an image. So an image will pop up in my head of something revolving around the book. I don't know where it's gonna go yet. I don't know anything. I just try to see it and then I try to write it down. And so my, my moleskins or whatever are just filled with like, you know, maybe sentence long, two sentence long images of whatever it is that I'm, that I'm working on. And then your job as a writer is just to make someone else see what you're seeing in your head. And get closer and closer and closer to what that what that picture is. I think I'll probably do much better work when I'm at home. This is the typewriter that I'm writing this novel on. My first book, I wrote on these like huge rolls of vellum on this like onion skin architectural vellum just because I couldn't find any typewriting paper. So I just loaded this into uh, the typewriter. For me, I'm writing about things that are way outside of my experience. And because of that, I at least need to invest a ton of time in, in research. I couldn't write anything that I didn't research because I'm doing most of my original thinking through the lens of whatever it is that, that I'm reading about. You end up finding a metaphor when you're reading about uh, architectural plans or something. It changes your feeling of being authoritative and being like, okay, I've done this, like this is something that uh, that I can speak about with authority. So for my last book, I knew that it was going to take place in Iceland and I had never been. So I flew to Reykjavik and so then I took a bus to the westernmost tip and spent two months just off trail through hiking Iceland. The book involved uh, an ancient Greek professor, so I took ancient Greek for two years. Um, there was a water polo player at the heart of it, so I, I joined uh, the UT water polo team. I collaborated with a conceptual artist and we had a piece in the new museum because I was writing about art and wanted to see what it was like from the inside. There's a certain sense that, you know, that your novel is a passport and you can show up with a paperback and, and be like, hey, I wanna go do this and people are a little bit more receptive to it. This book, takes place in the Niels Bohr Institute in Copenhagen. I've been there, I think, eight times total. And I showed up, I was like, hi, I'm here. I'm writing about this, can I like hang out? And they're like, whoa, no, let's go on a tour. I just go whenever I can save up the money and find the time. There's a big dichotomy between novels that I, I remember and novels that I don't. What I try to do as a writer is to make things memorable. 
And uh, to me, that only comes across through imagery. A lot of people are like, well, I don't, I don't read fiction because I, I want things that are real. And to me, there's, you know, there's nothing more real than an image that describes the seemingly prosaic parts of reality. You know, so if somebody says that they're you know, that this emotion is like trying to push rain back into the clouds, then that's, that's a real thing, you know, that's a real image that sticks with me my entire life. And I'm like, well, what does this feel like? What is this person asking me to do? This person's asking me to push rain back into a cloud. That is way more practical and, and, and part of my daily life than reading about Churchill, you know?